You know, I still think about that night we spent together. Shut up. No, I'm serious. No matter how it ended, it was still pretty amazing. <clears throat> Convincing enough? Hey, head of the wedding. Of my sister? Yes, I am. So where's your fiance? Wait, is this him? Hey, I'm Ben. I was her hall pass on your break. Wow, you are a child. It's a pretty long flight. Do you want anything from the front of the boat? I'm all good on creatine and smelled like insecurity. Nothing small about me. What the? No way. Honey, look who's here! Who is it? My ex, Jonathan. My parents have been trying to get us back together. He's like a son to us. Maybe we should just tell everyone we're together. What? It would solve that problem for me, and you clearly want Margaret. She sees you with me. She wants what she can't have. There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. Showtime. Permission to put my left hand on your right buttock. Granted. Not a magic lamp. Hey, little guy. God damn it. We have to take it up a notch. Right? Nice touch. It's nice dress. Titanic me. Are they watching? Are they doing Titanic? They're gone. Show's over. Ah! Oh my god. Do you have a mole or something on your butt? No. What the? Ah! What the? What the? Oh One might be in you. I'm good. It's probably a better way to check than what I did. Hello. My name is Michael Morley. And I'm here to review Anyone But You. Directed by Will Gluck, starring Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Also co-starring the Aussie great Brian Brown and Rachel Griffiths. Also co-starring Dermot Moroney. This movie is like any other typical romantic throwaway movie that I have seen. I've seen it before. Two people that hate each other. They're both perfectly good looking opposite sex that they completely hate each other but in the end as they get to know each other they start to fall for one another. I've seen the story before. This has been in hundreds of other throwaway romantic comedies. It's totally when I was watching this I just felt Friends with Benefit vibes throughout this movie and I was like yeah it's the guy who directed Friends with Benefits. He also directed Fired Up, Peter Rabbit, and Easy A, which I actually really liked. I will say this, the chemistry between Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell works in this movie. They have very, very good chemistry. And Glenn has his you know, alpha male charisma about him. He's definitely a man's man. After watching him in Top Gun Maverick, I knew that he was gonna star in some romantic comedy. I knew I knew it was coming. I was like, yep, here we go. Sydney Sweeney, yeah, she's yeah, she's not bad. Yeah, she's funny. She's got some good looks work for her in her favor. But yeah, she's she's good for what she has. It's the first time, first movie I've ever watched her in. And she definitely has good chemistry with Glenn and that makes the performance of hers even better. I think Brian Brown, Australian actor, he is one of the funniest parts of this movie. It's even his stepson is funny as well. Most of the supporting actors in this movie do all the comedy, in my opinion, where Glenn and Sydney are sort of the straight characters, you know, the straight men, the ones that are always serious, but things just don't go right for them, where the supporting characters are the plucky comic reliefs. Dermot Moroney has some funny moments, and so does Rachel Griffiths. I will say this, it's a very cliched wedding. It's so, so fucking expensive. Like, how rich are you assholes, seriously? They're on a yacht driving across the Sydney Harbour Bridge. They're on a yacht passing the Sydney Opera House. I'm, it just makes me jealous. I'm so pissed off. Off. And they're in a house near the beach on the harbour in Sydney and they got fireworks going off during the engagement party. I mean, it's just such an over-the-top wedding. I mean, it's just something that's so Hollywoodanized. Other than that, it has some funny moments. It is a throwaway romantic movie. It's not bad if you're in the mood for a movie that's similar to Friends of Benefits or The Wedding Planner. It's one of those sort of movies. You might like this movie. Six out of ten. Oh no no, it's gonna be hard. When are you ever gonna learn? Fuck it, it's fine. Do you have a mole or something on your butt? No. What the? What the? What the? One might be in you. I'm good. It's probably a better way to check than what I did. It's a bad idea, right? What did we miss? What did we miss? Fuck it, it's fine.